Um, so do you know what Amazon did before it became the top online shopping platform? It was an online bookstore. The story of HKTV World today is slightly different because it was a broadband company before it became the largest online shopping platform in Hong Kong. Green ladies and gentlemen, I'm Movis and we are Team Serendipity. Today we'll share with you the story of HKTV World. Let's start with the background of the company, followed by the success factors and the takeaways of this case. HKTV was first established by Recky Wong as a broadband service provider named Sutter Telecom in 1992. In 2013, it relocated its focus as a TV service provider, cashing out most of its assets and renaming itself as HKTV, only to face a significant setback where its application for TV license was turned down by the government. It soon became a swim or sink situation, and it found a way out by entering the e-commerce sector. Currently, HKTV is the leading heavyweight in Hong Kong's e-commerce sector, occupying 10% of total market shares. Meanwhile, it maintains a strong growing momentum with more than 45% of growth in turnover annually. It now collaborates with thousands of retailers and opens dozens of concept stores in Hong Kong, selling all sorts of goods from food and necessities to sports gears and books. We believe wisdom lies amidst the sweat and endeavors of HKTV. Today, we hope to provide you with lessons on how value creation, efficient leadership, and most importantly, adaptability and agility can lift a business from a sinking mire to the peak. To learn a lesson from HKTV, you must first look closely at its history of development. The first turning point we want to highlight was when HKTV joined an unfamiliar sector of TV business. In early 2012, Hong Kong's TV industry was in a duopoly state, and HKTV decided to seize a slice of the action. It cast aside its entire broadband business that generated more than 40 million US dollar turnover in exchange to fund its new multimedia business. It hired over 500 staff and performed eight drama series before it started its new business. Meanwhile, it purchased and translated over 850 episodes of foreign drama and cartoons. As being a very bold step for HKTV, but so determined to change its business model, come hell or high water. So hell and high water did come when the government turned down HKTV's application for TV license in late 2013. Consequently, HKTV suffered a tremendous net loss at 640,000 US dollars and needed to dismiss loads of staff. And there came the second turning point when HKTV manifested its adaptiveness and fortitude amongst the uncertain future. In response to the crisis, HKTV came up with a concept of shop attainment under which it provided online shopping service with the name HKTV Mall alongside with this online TV service. The online store initially collaborated with 300 stores in Asia, providing unique online shopping experiences to Hong Kongers, as there weren't many similar platforms at that time in Hong Kong. At the same time, it leveraged its resources and multimedia production to advertise its products through its online TV platform. Consequently, from 2013 to 2015, HKTV managed to weather its failure and regained an increasing turnover. The third turning point was when it finally stood on its own feet as an online shopping platform and managed to thrive. Starting from 2016, HKTV noticed that its online shopping platform generated most of its turnover. It amended its focus once again by placing sole focus on its e-commerce business. Further to this decision, HKTV more successfully jumped on the tide of fast emerging e-commerce market and achieved a 73% customer growth in 2017. Soon it took the entire sector by storm by launching dozens of concept stores while also built its logistics system and big data system. It also collaborated with banks to develop its own e-payment method to further maximize the convenience this platform can provide. In a nutshell, HKTV Mall has been decisive to follow the feedback from markets and thereby it was able to seize the very opportunity to become a leading company in the e-commerce industry, albeit its failure previously. Now I'll pass the mic to Ryan. Thank you, Movis. Let's delve into why HKTV succeeded. A giant can still be extremely agile and flexible, as demonstrated by HKTV's establishment of online to offline O2O stores. In Western countries, this type of e-commerce pattern is rarely seen for it seems to defeat the purpose of online shopping. However, in Hong Kong, offering self-pickup services by O2O stores can offer a greater convenience that fits Asian and Hong Kong culture. HKTV adapts to this mindset difference and provides appropriate service to generate great user experience by pinpointing their true needs. Regarding the public health crisis, HKTV has been one of the first companies to produce masks for the general public. Adaptive to the local culture and lifestyle of consumers, HKTV succeeded by maximizing consumers' willingness to pay as well as maintaining a loyal customer base. Moving on to the communication level, 
HKTV has successfully imprinted its positive brand image onto people's mind with the angle of boosting the business conversion. The first strategy taken is promotional strategies, including both online and offline. For online marketing, the flash sales campaign had encouraged the audience to purchase during the corresponding program hour. The company had integrated two promotional mixes, sales promotion and advertising, in a bundle of shop attainment campaigns, which effectively saved costs. It also rolled out the more dollar cash rebate program for consumers. Other than that, it precisely spotted an often overlooked customer cluster who is concerned about internet security and launched a win four million Hong Kong dollar to buy a home campaign to engage this underdeveloped consumer group. It did not stop engaging customers with superficial understanding in online shopping. It has launched OTO concept stores as pickup points, jet store campaign as regular on-street groups to demonstrate the mobile application to further its shopping network with the masses. HKTV has been actively engaged in a variety of CSR initiatives, aiming to establish a positive feedback loop, generating internal benefits of positive word of mouth from the public. The most sounding and recent case would be mass production. It clearly stated to charge a price near to the cost of production and produce mass swiftly, even if they had to purchase mass production machines with a much higher price, demonstrating its devotion to public health. For long-term development, HKTV has collaborated with Google to launch the Small Businesses E-Commerce Support Scheme, which allows SMEs paying a small fee to access HKTV's customer database to perform effective position marketing. On top of helping the SMEs, the young generation is, is assisted too. The base, a 20,000 feet space featuring filming studios and Hollywood level filming equipment has given a chance for teenagers to pursue their long lived dreams in the film industry. By doing CSR, HKTV connects to people's hearts, establishing emotional bonding with people, thus reminding people of this company when they are shopping online. There is often an adage that without passion, no startups could reap a great success. HKTV has faced several tempestuous storms that could have entirely ended the whole business. Ricky and his team could simply leave the business world when they encountered the rejection from the government and other faith daunting moments. However, Ricky devoted everything to choosing the path of unremitting striving for the realization of his dream to help solve a pain point that no one is trying to do at the moment. Failures can obstruct the company's growth, but they can never stamp out the fire of passion inside Ricky's heart to serve society's critical needs. No matter for IDD, broadband connection, TV, and also e-commerce. He joined the market because of his passion to run a business that creates value in society. Ricky's entrepreneurial journey is a practical textbook to illustrate the lion rock spirit of Hong Kong, a representation of swimming upstream facing great impediments. Only with ceaseless passion can HKTV survive until now and become the giant of e-commerce. Now, Jonathan will talk about the challenges and takeaways. Thanks, Ryan. Now, while HKTV has achieved its current success, um, the business also comes with challenges that are yet to be eliminated and overcome, one of which being data and network security. Given the sheer amount of customer information in HKTV's database, e-commerce businesses are more vulnerable to internet hackers. HKTV should therefore step up to enhance the information systems and digital infrastructure. There should be dedicated resources, trustworthy third-party software, and clear protocols on the usage of data. Besides, e-commerce is a very fast-changing industry. HKTV now positions itself as an O2O business, but such a business model might not be differential enough in the long run. Heavyweights in the traditional retail market and online retailers can also enter the market and expand their business. To tackle this, it comes down to placing the focus on retaining customers. As HKTV now has a solid base of customers, this advantage can be leveraged to maintain its market share. HKTV can focus on its pricing strategy and marketing campaigns and current customers, which tend to be less expensive than new customers. The final issue about HKTV is profitability. Financial figures reveal that HKTV is making a loss on every sale, hindering the company's ability to reach an accounting break-even. The only solution for boosting profit margins, given the limits of logistics and warehousing costs, is to enjoy economies of scale by increasing the total transaction volume and optimizing resources. Now we've heard a lot about HKTV, so what can we take away from here? The first point is about value creation. Whenever a business is looking to enter the market, it either creates or captures more value. When no one was thinking about adapting the business in Hong Kong, Ricky Wong spotted the market potential and created the market that was not existent prior to his launch. Once the product is out, aggressive marketing strategies are used in attracting customers that have been used to the offline shopping wave for years. By using revenue as a benchmark, 
HKTV has proved to successfully disrupt the market and create additional value. The journey for HKTV has been nothing but a rocky road. The story of HKTV has perhaps shed a light on how businesses and startups should react in the hard times. Bringing the company out of adversities and achieving today's success is no fluke, but instead a result of visionary leaders that can motivate employees and bring the company out of the hard times. It is a perfect representation of Ricky Wong's leadership principle, believing and acting with heart, thinking with foresight, and engaging with passion. Besides, as Ricky Wong once said, if you want to change the world, you have to imagine what the world will look like 10 years later. In today's business world, entrepreneurs should anticipate problems and be more focused on the long-term development to prepare themselves for tomorrow's challenges. Together with agility forms a final piece for the puzzle of success, as businesses have to quickly react with crisis and risks that come every day. To be able to stay afloat and lead in today's business world, one has to first spot the potential, then new ideas led by passionate one leaders who are comfortable with the dynamic environment and reacting to changes coming in at a surprise. Besides, amidst the COVID-19 pandemic today, as well as the potential financial crisis, resilient leaders that can inspire and lead under pressure are what makes companies stand out and what drives society into a better future. Overall, HKTV is a role model for companies to adapt swiftly to contemporary trends and paradigm shifts. And more importantly, a perfect illustration that a giant company should not be bureaucratic and ineffective, but instead maintaining its agility and flexibility. Thank you for listening and we'll now open the floor for questions and answers.